Hi everybody. Uh, so today I just kind of want to do like a Dollar Tree haul slash chit chat. Um, so I went to my local dollar store today, the Dollar Tree store, and my fave. I just love to go there and find things that are a good deal. And when I do, I scoop up a bunch of them. And it's been a while since I've done a Dollar Tree haul, so today is a lazy, snowy, cold Sunday, and really nobody feels like doing anything, including these guys right here. Look at this. Look how lazy these guys are. I mean, look at that. Let's see if I can move. I disturbed them. Anyways, who knows what they were dreaming about. Summer squirrels, chickmunks. Anyhow, so, uh, it's not a hair video today. Like I said, it's a Dollar Tree haul and a chit chat. So, if you'd like to hang out, we can get started. However, for everyone who does, uh, all my hair friends, I am wearing the Bella Topper by Uniwigs. Um, it's in the color uh, Almond Frost, and it is human Remy virgin hair. Uh, I don't wear it too often. Matter of fact, I'm going to be manipulating this unit. And since it's human hair, I'm going to try to lift some of the color, maybe lighten it a little bit, um, and put some extra layers in it. So, like, the reason why is because the color is way far off from my own hair. So, usually I just wear it with some braids where it's not as noticeable because my hair is definitely not the same color. Um, I do have it back on my hairline. I do have some of my hair around my face out. And you can see the color difference. Uh, but it's not it's not that noticeable when it's in braids. And like I said, it's a lazy Sunday. I don't think anybody's going to be looking that close at my hair. So um, anyways, let's get started. Um, it's not too early for some wine, huh? Anyhow, so... Uh, Let's see here. So I went to the dollar store and just I got a, a bag full of stuff. Um, some of this stuff I may have showed this before. And this is like, it says that it's a makeup stick. It's from LA Colors. I'm a sucker for pink and this is pink satin. I had one of these before and I used it all up. So when I seen it there today I decided I would get one. Now this says that it's a 3-in-1 that you can use it for lipstick, blush, and eyeshadow. That's what it says on the package. But honestly, I would not use this on my eyes or on my face. I mean, really I would only use it on my lips. So, And it's just a nice sheer little pink. Nothing too extravagant nothing to I mean you could throw some chapstick over it or some gloss over it or whatever but this is not bad for a dollar like I said this is my second time purchasing this and I was shocked to see it there because sometimes I don't don't see it there and um, I did today so I'm like I'm getting it so and then of course I I, I love to get their scissors um, For a dollar and you know these that's just and they work pretty good um yes I've trimmed my hair with them and yes I you can cut paper and you can cut whatever you know it's you know, sometimes you gotta be careful with the things you buy at the dollar store they're like really cheap and fall apart I've had these scissors before where the plastic has broken off of the metal so yeah when you're talking about a dollar it's sometimes it's a good deal sometimes it's not I do like to get these scissors. So, uh, moving on to what's next. Uh, I got this for my daughter. She wears contacts. And this was just adorable. I'd never seen these there before. And it's just a flip top case for your uh, 
your contacts and they had all kinds of little cute ones and so when she gets home she's going to be excited about this. Let me take that out of the package here. It's just adorable. They had several different different ones. So it's just like your little regular typical thing except for these just kind of flip up. Contacts in there. So this is the first time that I've seen these. It looks like it has a seal. So it does, when you close it, it does seal shut. There's a ring around there. So I've never seen these there before, but that's pretty nice. And let's see, what else we got in here? Okay, so, and this is Soft Lips Chapstick. And this is the real brand, so it's not like a knockoff. This is the brand Soft Lips. Now, if you got a two pack of Soft Lips at like Walgreens or Rite Aid, you're looking at a couple bucks, three dollars maybe, three forty nine. I can't remember. Soft Lips is, it's not a cheap chapstick, trust me. And so they had the two packs of them, or the two in a pack, for a dollar. And this is vanilla flavored and watermelon flavored. And I'm not going to take these out of the package, but that was a good deal. Um, also, I got this is another type of chapstick, and this is from the Palmer's brand. Now, I bought some of this that was the regular uh, cocoa butter from Walgreens, and it was $2.49, and this was a while back. And just this stuff is like the bomb on your lips. It's soft and it's, you know, it doesn't have all the, uh, look, it says no parabens, no phosphates, no mineral oil, no gluten, and no dyes. So it's pretty natural. So, and I had found the same one at the dollar store that I found at Walgreens, the uh, the cocoa butter one. And then I saw this one today, which is, has the coconut oil in it. So I figured if I like the other one, I know I'm going to like this one. Uh, then I also found these cute little socks, two for a dollar. These ones have foxes on them. Fox socks, fox socks, fox socks. And then the other ones are just striped. But just for some little throw on socks, you know, booties or whatever, two for a dollar, you cannot beat that. So, and then I found another lipstick in the pink family that I like. This is Color Mates, and this one actually came with a little uh, lip liner, too. So, I'm not going to open this one up. Um, I'm going to say well, I'm going for lighter. And then I got one of these little sink things that smells like lemons. It captures all your food, you know, when you've got, you know, teenagers and all that kind of stuff and but and they don't scrape their plates and you know you get food all down inside the sink you know this keeps it from going down your drain it's only a dollar mm -hmm. I got these for St. Patrick's Day I thought they were kind of cute St. Patrick's Day. And then I got these for some little decals on my walls because I am currently going to be taking my uh, computer system and my camera and I have a room that I'm going to make my, it's just going to basically be like my video room where I can start doing videos when I have time. Uh, I also got these cute little photos to go on the wall. These were also, like I said, all this stuff is from the dollar store. So, make it happen. Pretty cute. Only a dollar. So, and this one says, home is where love resides. Memories are created. Memories are created. Friends always belong. And laughter never ends. This is another photo I'm going to hang up in my, in my new room. And then I got this big old can of pedigree dog food for my dogs, for the little ones. I have a couple of chihuahuas that have some bad teeth. And it's difficult for them to chew the kibbles, so I kind of subsidize their 
dye it with some of this and uh, that's a dang good deal for the big can for a dollar okay and then of course we I've been picking these up these are readers now when you get old like me and your eyes start to go bad and you can't see small print yeah that sucks and you know I don't really necessarily need glasses for far away but I can't see things that are small and up close I'm gonna sit here like this you know cause you just can't see so I literally been picking these up they're only a dollar so I'm using the 1.25 I've got them in every color, blue, green, red. These ones are red with flowers on them. These ones actually got like little, that almost look like um, little pink and black leopard, whatever. I got some brown ones. I got some blue ones. I got some black ones with little studs on the side. I mean, for a dollar, you can't beat that. And this side, I got them everywhere. I got a pair in my truck. I got a pair at work. I got a pair in my nightstand. You know, I got them everywhere. It's a nightstand in the living room, all over the place. So you never know when you gotta read something small. Um, and so then another thing too is that sometimes when you find things at the dollar store and it's like a really good deal, you never know. Once they're sold out, you never know if they're going to get them back. So I took a chance on these. All right. They're facial wipes for us women who wear makeup and, you know, you just, or you smear your makeup or whatever. You just need to hurry up and quick do something. And these are actually like facial wipes, makeup wipes, whatever you want to call them. And um, they're different than their El Cheapio ones because they got some really cheap ones. that They fall apart as you even pull them out of the, out of the thing. So I was there one day. And I saw these ones and what caught my eye was because they, they say that they don't have any parabens in them paraben free, color free, and the all skin types and so they look like they are better for your skin than the normal ones. So this one is uh, lavender and citrus. You get 30 wipes in them. So you just open it up. And then this one is uh, coconut cream vanilla. Same, same thing, you just open it up. So I bought some and I brought them home and I tried them out. So see, these ones are open already. They are nice and thick, so they do not fall apart. They are just nice and thick. I know I said that twice, didn't I? And uh, yeah, then no parabens and all that kind of stuff. And so I tried them both, same thing with these ones. And uh, I fell in love, so I hurried up and went back to the dollar store and scooped up all the ones they had on their shelf. Yes, I scooped them all up. So they are all mine now. All right, so uh, last but not least, um, I've been finding the fabric softener, liquid fabric softener. I don't know who all out there still uses the liquid stuff. Because I know that the dryer sheets are just so easy to throw in in the dryer and away you go. And, you know, if you are not don't have your washer timed to uh, do a rinse cycle and have this in there, or if, or if you have to stop and go and pour it in there, or if you, some people have the little balls or something that they put them in there and it's really, I, I'm not really sure. But here's a trick I have if you are one of those people who are penny pinch. There's a couple things you can do with this. And mind you, I'm getting these from the dollar store. They have Gain, they have Suavitol, they, and they have Downy now. And this stuff smells so good. So good. But here's something that I was thinking. I've done this before, and I think I even talked about this before on one of my videos. But you can make your own homemade Febreze. So what, I bought a bottle uh, at the dollar store. You fill it up halfway with whatever you like. If you like the Downy or you like the Gain. The Gain smells good. I've been using Gain all the time. But when I seen the Downy there, I scooped some up. Even the Suavitol is really good. So anyways, so you fill up halfway with water. And then you fill it up the other halfway with the fabric softener. So basically, what you have is you have your own Febreze. You can go around and... Well, I don't know how go around and spray your, your pillows 
spray your dog, spray your blanket. Usually they don't like me to spray. Spray your curtains, you know, kind of spray your couch, you know, and stuff like that. It makes everything smell good for a few hours. It's the same thing as your Febreze. Another thing you can do too is I have another spray bottle that's a little bit smaller than this and I make it more concentrated sleep. This is half and half. This is half water, half fabric softener. But you can also, like I said, I have another bottle that's smaller than this and then I do like 70-30. So it's 70% fabric softener and only 30% water. And then what I do is I take an old rag, like an old washcloth, and then I spray the washcloth so that it's damp with the solution and then I throw that in the dryer while I'm drying my clothes and that acts as one of your uh, dryer sheets so then when you go to fold up your clothes just look for that same rag and when you do the next throw your next load of laundry in the dryer do the same thing use that same wash rag washcloth spray it down throw it in there and there you go and you just that's your instant you don't even and you know how long that lasts lasts a long time so we're talking this bottle will literally last me two months two 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 and a half close to three months the way I use this for my fabric softener and for my homemade Febreze so if you're one of those people out there who like to pinch pennies and and save on a dime that's a good one right there. So what else? What else is new? Not a lot's new other than I've been working my tail off. But I did want to, maybe I'll touch on this on another video. I do want to touch on the fact that, you know, all my friends that are wear hair. And, you know, all the videos that I've done on hair and stuff like that. I haven't purchased any new hair lately. I've been just using the hairs and the pieces and my toppers I've been using the things that I have I have not purchased anything new lately but I do wanna say maybe like I said this might be another video but I had been wearing the uh, the Claire topper uh, creamy ice Claire topper from Uniwigs and I've been wearing that one like crazy I wear that a lot a lot of times I wear it in braids like this and I, I go to work and stuff like that. And when I go out, I wear it down or in a half ponytail. I mean, it, that is like my go-to favoritist. But what I noticed is that from wearing it all the time, where the clips go in, I'm, I'm starting to get, I think it's called traction alopecia. So where the clips go in, because they're in the same spot all the time, I'm literally starting to get little bald spots in the front where the where the clips go in so um yeah so I don't know I might have to take a break all in all from from it for a while either that or I've been trying to place it in different areas like sometimes wear it back a little bit farther sometimes wear it more forward and, and try to get them clips to not be in the same spot every time but yeah I mean I'm literally starting to get two bald spots <laughs> I don't know if anyone has any advice for that let me know so uh, but that wraps it up for now this is just a quick little haul and just trying to say hi to everybody and it's a boring boring Sunday yeah but all right everyone have a good day bye here's an ugly picture of me but I got them readers on see that Ugly readers, aren't they? <laughs> you wake up from your nap. You woke up from your nap. You just want to be on camera. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Who is it? Who is it? Come here, Zuna. Come here. Mm. Oh, you guys are fighting for a spot. Fighting for a spot. All right, guys. Bye.